CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.1, Summarize Various Security Measures and Their Purposes. Physical Security. Welcome to the start of Domain 2, where we dive headfirst into the world of security. This domain is all about safeguarding your IT environment from threats, and it's packed with essential knowledge that will not only help you ace the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 exam but also keep your systems secure in the real world. In this video segment, we're focusing on physical security, because no matter how tight your network defenses are, they won't help much if someone can just walk in and take what they want. So, before we jump into the specific tools and techniques, let's quickly define what physical security is. Physical security refers to the measures taken to protect the physical assets of an organization, such as buildings, equipment, and people, from unauthorized access, damage, or theft. Think of it as the layer of protection that guards the actual, physical location where your data and IT systems reside. Without it, even the most sophisticated cybersecurity strategies can be easily compromised. First on the list of physical security devices is the access control vestibule, sometimes known as a mantrap. This is a secure entry system with two gateways, only one of which is open at any one time. This is your go-to solution for restricting access to sensitive areas like a data center. Picture it, you step into a small room, the door behind you locks, and now you need to authenticate, whether it's with a badge, a fingerprint, or even a retinal scan, before you can proceed. If everything checks out, you're allowed in, if not, you're stuck until security arrives. This setup is considered the best way to control physical access to critical areas because it ensures that only authorized personnel get through, and there's a clear record of everyone who does. Next on the list is the badge reader. This handy device verifies an individual's identity by scanning their ID badge before granting access to restricted areas. It's quick and efficient, and logs every entry and exit. If something goes wrong, you'll have a record of who was where and when, which is vital for both security and accountability. However, one downside is that a badge can be stolen or lost, potentially allowing unauthorized access. This is why it's important to have additional layers of security to complement the use of badge readers. Video surveillance is another essential tool in physical security. Video surveillance involves using cameras to monitor and record activities in and around a facility, providing real-time observation and recorded evidence of incidents. Strategically placed cameras can deter unauthorized access and provide crucial evidence in the event of a security breach, making them a key component of any physical security strategy. Alarm systems are a security measure that triggers a response when unauthorized access is detected. Whether someone forces a door open or breaks a window, alarms can notify security personnel or even law enforcement in an instant. Paired with motion sensors, which detect movement in areas that should be secure, you have a robust system for detecting and responding to threats. Let's not forget about door locks, which are your first line of defense at any entry point. A door lock is a mechanical or electronic device used to secure a door and restrict access to authorized individuals. These can range from traditional keyed locks to advanced biometric systems that use fingerprints, facial recognition, or iris scans to grant access. Biometric locks are especially secure since they rely on something unique to each individual, making them much harder to bypass than a key or code. But it's not just doors you need to worry about your equipment should be under lock and key too. Equipment locks are a security device that physically secures equipment to prevent unauthorized removal or theft. Think of them as digital padlocks, easy to attach but tough to remove without the right tools. They're perfect for those high traffic areas where you can't always keep an eye on your gear. Now let's not forget about the human element. While all the technology in the world is great, there's nothing quite like having a trained security guard on site. Guards are trained professionals responsible for protecting assets, monitoring for suspicious activity, and responding to security incidents. Generally, they provide a level of security that machines just can't match. They are often your first line of defense and your last one too. Finally, let's talk about bollards and fences. Bollards are those sturdy posts you see outside buildings designed to prevent vehicles from driving into sensitive areas, like, say, the front entrance of your data center. 
They're tough enough to stop a truck, yet they don't get in the way of pedestrians or everyday traffic. Fences, on the other hand, are more about keeping out unwanted visitors on foot. A good, high fence with a secure gate can be a great deterrent. On that note, each of the physical security devices we covered serve as a foundation for a secure IT environment, ensuring that your digital defenses have the solid backing they need to be effective. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.